my tarot tribe it's ethany and it is friday which means it is first impressions friday here on my channel and i have got such a beautiful deck um i can't believe it took me so long to get this deck it is the children of litha or litha depending on how you would like to pronounce that word and i am look look at how this comes packaged can you even Stepping up the packaging game. I feel like I don't do enough now. Um, now, look at that. You bet your bottom dollar I'm keeping that beautiful, beautiful um, ribbon with the crystal. Now, this is by Alexandria Huntington. This is a business card that I got with the sun on it. Obviously, you're going to see it better when I actually do the unboxing, but it's got gold. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> uh, so we got her there and I got this beautiful fairy star sticker. I love, I love stickers. I love stickers. So I got these beautiful, beautiful little add-ons. Um, and now we're going to go over and change over cameras and go through this deck. And this is a deck that I got directly from the um, artist. I purchased it. I'm very excited. I do love me some magical creatures. Um, and let's go have a look at the Tarot of Litha. Now we're going to go through the Children of Litha Tarot. It's been sitting on my table for a while now. And look at this gorgeous fairy star sticker. I love me my stickers. It came with such beautiful wrapping. I'm going to keep that. I was very careful. I didn't stack anything on top of this deck. Okay. The Children of Litha Tarot. The physical prowess of the beast is matched only by the cognitive power of man. When these two opposing forces combine, they exceed the sum of their parts and create the divine. The children of Litha Tarot takes these stories and interweaves them with the ancient wisdom of the tarot. It is where the human, the beast and the divine meet to guide you and your true self. So it's a 80 card illustrated deck and then uh, two extra cards and a guidebook. And it's this beautiful gold gilding. I'm just gonna quickly get the placky off. Okay, the gorgeous detailing in there. So this was a Kickstarter deck, I believe. The box got a bit of dewangied. Oh, that's okay. I have a question for people. Um, when decks come like this for me, um, I wrap all of my decks as well. This could have happened in the postage. I keep them and use them as for like spare cards. I don't send out dinged boxes. Do you think it's okay to send out dinged boxes as a, as a you know, because I'm a creator as well. I'm literally asking for some genuine feedback. So it has... Um, the, these mag I love these the magnetic ones are my favorites we are sometimes less hero than fool on our journey it's true but you need not travel alone you are more than just you so a beautiful poem again I'm not going to read it all because that just gets boring the children of litha first edition and then the signature in the bottom okay we have the guidebook which is also gold gilded We'll get into that. Oh, I pop a color. Okay. Now the card size is standard tarot size. They are gold gilded. Now I know there is another edition coming out. Um, they have a beautiful matte finish and the card stock is like three, let's say 350 GSM. Oh, that's the back. <laughs> One of the extra cards. Okay. The full. Now this deck has got very specific borders and it is part of their design. This is such a gorgeous, I don't know why I hesitated to get this deck. But um, I got it, <laughs> the magician. Oh, 
oh, it's like, look at that. Look at the arms coming out. I'm like trying not to remember to ver verbalize, Anthony, because um, I'll get s sucked into the artwork. But all those arms holding all of those elements of magic. And the legs. Oh, this high priestess. The pomegranate there, the throw the Persephone in the deep, that octopus, which could be her or it could be coming from the deep. It's probably her, but you know, either way, um, the empress. So as you can see, the The borders are designed very specifically. Each border also has um, colors, different colors. The emperor, oh dang, that is one dead animal. <laughs> so for life, the hierophant. The lovers. That snake, that really pretty snake. The chariot, gorgeous. These, look at, I love that they're warring undying water forces. That like leopard shark. It's so beautiful. So as the box and the introduction stated, it's like this amalgamation of man and beast and I, um, living for it this wildness strength so it is a very fantasy based deck so for those of you who are not into that you're probably not gonna get a lot out of it but I love like everything Brian proud everything fantasy magic folklore mythology I'm here for it the hermit so the wheel, so then we have the actual wheel, the witch's wheel, Yule, Imbolg, Astara, Beltane, Letha, Lunasad, Maybon, and Samhain. These two, oh, that's so gorgeous. Justice. This os beautiful ostrich woman. That really cool snake. Very Mahat. In Egyptian mythology. The Hanged Man, the Coiled Mermaid. Ooh. I'm the kind of person, and I know I'm not alone here, that when there's a movie with like an alien or a mermaid or a creature, I'm always like, run away from the humans, and if they catch you, they're never gonna let you go. <laughs> Makes me sad. I don't wanna think about people doing horrible things to anyone, really. Um, death, that is really freaking cool. It's a very necromancer feel. Oh, so beautiful temperance. I feel like for me, this deck would be something I would use in ritual. Um, it would be something I would use for magic and working with the elementals, working with nature spirits, things like that. I would use this deck, I think, feel predominantly... Um, for myself or for clients that I know would resonate with it. The tower, so cool. As again, I know this is probably not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but the way that I choose my decks for my clients, I've I kind of got that down pat, so. But I definitely know I would love to work with this for myself for a little while. The star. The moon. Oh, so beautiful. These creatures in nature and the waves and the sun. I may have to get the black version as well that's coming out. The set, very best set. Judgment, Kitsun. The world. Oh. Bambi's mum's okay, everybody. You can heal all your past childhood trauma. I joke, but only like a little bit. 
So many Disney movies were traumatic for me. The Lion King, like I went and saw the play, it made me cry. Every time I watch it, it makes me cry. I don't even know if I can bring myself to watch the live version, even though I love the cast, because I think I just might cry the whole time. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Two of Cups, these beautiful dra um, seahorses. Sea dragons, well, they are, sort of. Three of Cups. Oh, manta rays are coming up. I love manta rays. One of the things that's on my bucket list is swimming with manta rays. I've swum with whale sharks, which was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. I've swum with dolphins. I've swum with seals. I've swum with sharks, sea turtles. Manta rays is on there. I love the ocean. I'm ahead. Five of cups. Oh no, he's been... Beard. So we have all these beautiful sea creatures for the cups, which makes total sense. The seven. Oh, sorry, the six. Doi. Seven, the eel. More eel. Treasure. Reminds me of um, Plotsam Jetsam in The Little Mermaid. Yep. There's those Disney references again, the eight. Gorgeous jellyfish, just floating away effortlessly. Octopus, the Pacific giant octopus, the giant Pacific octopus. Love it. Okay, the narwhal. Unicorns of the sea. So beautiful. Okay, the page. Flying fish. Look at the detail in that. Oh, kind of want to marry her. Uh, the Knight of Cups. Someone's got a sea dragon head coming back victorious from that little escapade. Kind of want to marry her too. <laughs> Queen of Cups, a very sulky feeling. The seal. There is so much detail in this deck. It must have taken Alexandria forever. King of Cups. Beautiful Warus. That eye on the scepter. Just gorgeous. The Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is going to go straight into my working the pile of working a deck and I do I feel like I want the uh, the black version that's coming out now the two of Pentacles the three I'm definitely more a watery element than a wood. I do love woodland creatures. <laughs> like I really do, but I'm definitely more drawn to like the ocean animals as you could probably tell from my reaction to most of them. Um, that's beautiful. And the robins. I love those cows. They're so, so cute. I wonder too, if Alexander, if you ever watch this, do you have the complete rectangled artwork of these and would you ever do a borderless version? I wonder because I would be down for that too. Or did you actually create the art? Because it feels like it was cropped. I'm just asking the uh, burro, the donkey. No, they're not antelope, they're called something else because of the way that their horns are twisted. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, rhinos! Ten. Page. The knight. Yeah, they've all slayed their dragons. I'm loving that. The queen, oh beautiful. We have the cherry blossoms out at the moment. So this is um, 
making me feel like that. Oh gosh, he's gorgeous. Look at this, the King of Pentacles. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bull. Alexandria, your art is stunning. So the sword's my favorite suit. And we're often on the right track with these gorgeous owls. Wow, that's so beautiful. It's gonna, I'm just gonna lovingly stare at this deck for the rest of today, okay? Swan, more, more swan. Reminds me of the look that Aquaria, even though she's not my favorite drag queen, uh, did for the um, angelic white look where she was the pierced dove. Luna Moth. These pheasants. I'm not afraid of it like the, you know, the swords is, can be the more confronting suit of the tarot and I'm not afraid of it. I'm not afraid of those sorts of things. The butterflies and the six. Pain is part of life, it's how we grow. Um, things like, oh, look at these galahs. Oh my gosh, okay. Galahs, so, I miss the songbirds in Australia so much. I miss the parakeets, the kookaburras, the galahs, the, I mean, the cockatoos, I miss everything. The 28s, that makes me think of home. And they really are that color, that beautiful pink and gray, they're so pretty. Blue jay. Crows. So for those of you who like more animal decks and nothing that has like real people in it, you're gonna really like this one because there's lots of animals, lots of mythology and magic. Turkey vultures. You know, even in destruction, there is that connection to the, to life and having to, um, you know, destruction leads way to something. The page, oh, those hummingbirds. The knight, again, yeah, they're all slaying their dragons. The queen, I'm here for her too, look at that, damn. The king, that peacock, a very, very powerful um, symbol of the peacock. Now the wands, yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. I love it how they're, they're like they're those elementals. Um, so in magic, a lot of us see, well, we have read elementals like salamanders, gnomes, undines and sylphs, and this is a really cool representation. Like these would be really great um, cards to have if you were using the tarot as a walking, working altar to have out. Kitties, two wands. Wolf. The wands are beautiful too. Actually, the, I mean, the artwork is just simply stunning. Every time I see lions or big cats, I literally just want to like snuggle them. I know they've ripped my head off, but I really just, I mean, maybe not these two. These two look like they're in it. Um, five of wands, but I still think they're snuggly. Like even this, a cougar or a mountain lion. She looks like she ain't gonna take no one's, like, you don't wanna mess with her. She's literally going to be hunting these bunnies, but like, I just wanna snuggle it. Be the last thing you ever do. And the defensive card. The cheetah, of course, for swiftness. Like an Arctic fox. Yes, you'd have to endure in that environment for sure. A leopard who's got its prey. It's a lot of work to survive in the wild. We got it easy. We can call like, skip the dishes. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Oh, so beautiful. Page of Wands. The Knights. The Knights in this deck are phenomenal. Oh, she's beautiful. It's gorgeous as Techian Queen. Look at that gorgeous panther. Oh, leopard, sorry. It looks like a leopard. Black leopard. King of Wands. And as you can as you can see, like we've got there is multicultural representation in this deck, and I know that this these are all um, people of colour, but which yay yay one hundred percent yay. Um, you can also see that in. So, for me, that feels more from like the Middle East. So does this one. This feels very kind of maybe Egyptian. This is very Egyptian to me as well. Then we have. Um, the oriental more you know that reminds me of um oh gosh what are they called like the mongolian so there is definitely oh, look at the look at the color in just those borders oh and then we have the two extras <laughs> like i said i might just play with this deck all day today <laughs> the void <laughs> and the all so elements of each one of those cards coming in. Such a stunner of a deck. So let's give her a shuffle. Beautiful back design. It is reversible. I don't do reversals, but I understand that a lot of people do. really lovely it does have that matte finish so it won't fan very well the ace of wands I talked about that being a really good altar piece okay let's have a look through the book real quick so getting to know the children of Litha family dynamics Oh, cute. The pages bring the seed, the knights work the land, the queens nourish the crop, and the kings bring in the harvest. I love that way of looking at the court. Love it. Tarot tips and spreads. Three card draw. Five cards. The lovers. Letha's finances and money. Summer. And then the wheel. Uh, this is obviously um, Northern Hemispheric. Switch at 180 for Southern Hemisphere. Okay, so um, you would move you would move us around the dates around for that. I've had to do that, and then we go into here. So we have the card meanings. We have the, a beautiful color spot of the image. A poem and then upright keywords and reversed so ace of wands do, do, do. the spark of inspiration ignites the fire of life and born of this flame are ambition passion and strife oh I love me some rhyming so upright inspiration new enterprise a new project an intense passion spirituality a primal surge of power, confidence, instinct, creation, new beginnings, a surge of motivation. So this is a beautiful deck. I'm really enjoying even just like the visual aesthetic of it. It's almost too beautiful to use. <laughs> like I don't want to scuff it up. Um, I will put in the description below where you can get this deck and support Alexandria's work I mean look and oh just stunner and I can't wait to work with it and thank you as always for watching